And what we lack in these patients is nodal recurrence data. So we know that, that although these patients achieve nodal PCR and the false negative rates are low, we are still awaiting results from larger data sets looking at rates of nodal recurrence in patients, in clinically node positive patients who are treated without axillary dissection. I think, unfortunately, what we're seeing is that there is a lot of extrapolation of other data in the upfront surgery setting and many surgeons institutions are avoiding axillary dissection in patients who still have disease in the sentinel node after neoadjuvant chemotherapy. And I showed data demonstrating high rates of residual non-sentinel node disease. Over 60% of patients who have a positive sentinel node after chemotherapy will have additional lymph nodes that also have cancer. And by leaving those behind, we don't really know the implications of long-term outcomes. So I really stress the importance if you have any positive sentinel nodes after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, it's very important to do the completion axillary lymph node dissection because of a high likelihood of finding residual disease and a lack of data demonstrating safety of omission of axillary lymph node dissection in these patients.